Hi, I'm Derek Atade, and welcome to the Blind Squirrel Channel. 2022. Yeah. I'm out here with Sam. Sam, and we're on the Blue Water. Uh, what is this? A Parker? It's like a 30 Parker foot, 28. 28 foot Parker. We're launching out of Alameda. We're going crabbing today. We're gonna go out the Golden Gate. We're gonna freaking knock them dead. Let's go. this Zatterns in here. I, it says boil and bag. I don't have a bag. So I'm just... Alright, there's our 10 keepers. Dungeness crab. We had to work for them today. In the pot. One. Two. Grab them from the back, kids. Five. Alright. We're gonna let this kind of get boiling. Okay, ice bath, round two. There he is. One. Moving into the next phase of the operation, the cleaning phase. So I got my 10 crabs here. They have been. And look at there. Yes, another use for the bucket. If you're a fisherman, you gotta have buckets. It's That's how we do it. I look for the uh, the little tab under here. These are all males, by the way, because see no eggs. We throw the females back so they'll make more crab for next year. What you do is you get a little knife and you get that tab lifted up, okay? Then what you do is you get your thumb kind of in that, that crevice there. And then you kind of wedge your thumb in there. See how I'm getting my thumb in there? Yeah, that's I've been crabbing. See, you got injuries. Then you wanna break them in half, okay? And then we wanna go ahead and clean these gills off. But first we're gonna break his face off. Okay, like that. Face goes in there. The gills go in here. People can do this a lot faster. This is just my method. This is how I do it. Kind of a creature of habit. And then what I do here, break them in half, okay? Then I get some cold water, okay? And then I rinse all that crab butter out. I'll put them over here to where they can actually dry. Not, not dry, but drain. That's probably a better way to describe it, but I just kind of rinse them and then I set them to drain, okay? So now we have two halves of one crab. And I'm gonna show you how I prepare it for serving. I actually go the extra step and do crack the crab for whoever's gonna eat it. And look at this. This thing has cracked a few crab. I recommend using a towel. I recommend using a very sharp knife for this process. What you're gonna to wanna to do is stand this thing up on end. You're gonna cut down in between these legs here so you get a little bit of thigh meat. Use a sharp knife so you don't squish it. Look at that. You got a leg with some thigh meat. It's very nice that way. This is just the way I do it. Some people just yank the legs off the crab and, and just serve the body separate, but I like to have a little bit of that body meat. I could call it thigh meat, but I like to have a little bit of that with the crab. The last two, tiny, I leave them together. Then what I do, okay, is I'm gonna go ahead and crack, but you know, you, need, you don't wanna smash this and smash the meat everywhere. So what I do is I just kinda put a little towel over it. You're aiming for the knuckles. See the knuckles here? And you just give a little pop until you kind of hear it go. Okay, a little pop at the knuckle. That's all we want to do right there. Pop that knuckle, you'll be able to eat that crab, okay? So again, you're aiming for the knuckles. These are, these are a little bit bigger. But there you go, don't mutilate this, this leg. 
Oh, the final step in the process. So make sure you have a little white wine and the crab is cracked, ready to eat. Notice I don't have those kind of like plier things. You can just pick at this and eat it. It's all cracked and ready to go. A little bit of rosemary garlic butter dipping and normally we would have lemon, but we don't. So we have lime, same difference. And we're gonna go eat some crab. Hopefully you have a little bit of appreciation of why this stuff's so expensive. It's quite a process, takes a lot of work. It's a labor of love. I will take Dungeness crab over lobster any day. Again, I'm Derek Atade. This is the Blind Squirrel Channel. Thank you for watching.